With less than 24 hours to the official commencement of campaigns by political parties for the 2023 general election, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has once again reiterated the need for issue-based engagement, as well as peaceful conduct of party campaigns. The Commission urged all political parties to critically study and pay attention to the provisions of the Constitution, the Electoral Act, the Police Act and the Public Order Act for proper and peaceful conduct of political campaigns, rallies and processions. Chairman of the Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, made a call at the opening of a two-day capacity building workshop for INEC Press Corps on INEC processes, innovations, preparations for 2023 general election and critical issues in the Electoral Act 2022. Represented by the Chairman of Information and Voter Education Committee, Festa Sokoye, the INEC Chairman outlined some of the do's and don'ts of political campaigns as prescribed by law. Issue relating to campaigns. As all of you know, in the next few days, I think on Wednesday on the 28th, political parties are going to roll out their campaigns and then going to begin their rallies and so on. The law has made it clear that there are certain things that must happen and certain things that cannot happen in political campaigns and in rallies. One, which was pointed out in the, in the speech of the chairman, that a political campaign or slogan shall not be intended with abusive language, directly or indirectly likely to injure religious and ethnic feelings. Two, he says places designated, places designated for religious worship. That is the word the law uses. Places designated for religious worship. He didn't say mosque. He did not say a uh, church. He didn't mention shrine because worship also takes place in shrines. So people cannot only when they say places designated for religious worship, they say it's only mosque and church. No. Shrine, shrine is also inclusive. So, he says, places designated for religious worship, police stations, and public offices, public offices shall not be used for political campaigns, rallies and processions, or to promote, propagate, or attack political parties, candidates, or their programs, or their ideologies. Speaking further, the chairman disclosed that salient sections of the Constitution and Electoral Act 2022 are clear and equivocal on what political parties and candidates must and must not do during periods designated for campaigns and rallies. The law also makes it clear that a political party, an aspirant or a candidate shall not keep or use armed security organizations. And I think that, that you, they cannot use armed security organizations, Vanguard or any other group or individual by whatever name called, for the purposes of providing security, assisting or aiding the political party or candidate in whatever manner during campaigns, rallies or processions. Following the Commission's schedule of activities, the commencement of campaign by political parties for presidential and national assembly election is slated for Wednesday, 28th of September, 2020.